It's been too long. Welcome back, guys, to the Blackstone Zoo. I know I haven't been posting much about this one recently, and it's kind of because I lost all steam with it. Uh, it. Basically, I started two new projects in here, and we're walking, well, a couple new projects, and we're getting to some right now. And it kind of just dawned on me that I just couldn't go any further for the time being. But, um, yeah, so to cover what happened in the last few episodes, we basically topped off the American Adventures expansion to the park. And so this is probably the last thing that you guys remember. There have been a few changes here and there. I swapped out the Christmas trees because it's no longer that season. I changed up this part of the hotel-ish looking thing again. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. But going forward, we have a lot of new additions. So let's just take it to the top and see where we go first. I guess we can start with what I started to make first, then we can work our way through. So originally the idea was to lead from North America to South America. So we go here past the little duck pond. And I think Mealy just released some new waterfowl, so I do need to replace those ones soon enough. But we walk over here to the Caribbean Escape Building, but before we do, oh my god, just Goron, you really outdid yourself with these uh, playground sets. I can't remember the last time I had this much fun with blueprints, but these just look so good. I mean... It's, it's pretty much everything I would ever want from, like, any playground set that I want to include in the zoo here. And you can kind of see the rest of the shit over there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, these turned out to be really nice. I wanted this little area to be, like, a nice place for the kids to uh, run around with and relax. And all the parents could just chill out over here in this little promenade, I guess it is. And over here we have the Caribbean Escape Building. So the idea was to go for a bit of a uh, Havana promenade over in uh, Cuba. And I think it's a lot better if we see this place at night. You can see the lighting just really helps it to be lit up. Uh, even the palm trees are a little bit lit up, but I think this building really shines on the inside. We're gonna Harry Potter this shit. We're gonna go right through the wall. Again, nothing in this is finished. I apologize. I really tried my best to get as much done for you guys as I could. And I just didn't want to have this project on the back burner. I wanted to give all you guys a nice little in-person update. So we walk in and we have this big Caribbean tank over here. And oh my god, these are... Perfect. So these are all by ZZ, and this guy is from Drac. And yeah, it just livens up this tank. We even have the little bubbles over there. Uh, I did these table corals myself. I think it was Rudy Rencamel who came up with the original idea for them. And these were before I released the uh, faux aquarium workshop uh, blueprint set on the workshop. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to have to trail back and add those in there. So this is originally supposed to be a Cuban crocodile exhibit. I'm not sure if I'll mod it in yet. Uh, for the time being, it's just an empty exhibit, and it would eventually have some access to out here where you could view it from over here, but that's neither here nor there. Um, going forward, let's actually turn the lights on for going through here. We have a monkey exhibit. Now, I forget the name of the monkey, but it lives in Jamaica. And I would keep it in here and it could, you know, just go about its business. It has a little backstage area in here too. I know this isn't really the most realistic, but you know, we're, we're working with what we have. Actually, give me one second. Let me throw the roof on over here. All right, you guys can kind of tell I haven't been in here for a while, but I don't know. I think for what I have, it's looking pretty decent. I remember I had pretty much all of this featured on uh, Beyond Drew TV's little community showcase, which if you guys aren't watching that every Saturday, you totally should. 
There is a ton of awesome creators who take part in that. A lot who don't really have a YouTube channel, but Drew has the... He has a heart of gold and features every single person in there. And this was featured on there a couple weeks back. But, um, yeah, some changes have been made. For instance, uh, I have these little implied, uh, uh, implied insect terrariums over here. And you'll see these going a lot through here. Uh, this is a fruit bat enclosure, all implied, of course. I feel like bats would be a really awesome addition to Planet Zoo, but, you know, one can only dream. But yeah, I have a lot of lighting going on in here, and I feel like it adds to the overall experience really well. I really want to make it feel like you're going through a nice little cave. This is staff access to the monkey exhibit. You can see they can just walk right through there. I have the giant centipede chilling out in here, and for once we can actually see them. First thing, really, I, I really like the exhibit animals. I just really wish they, you know, did more things. I wish there were like, you know, God willing, there were a whole update focused on them. But that's only what we can wish for. I don't see it coming anytime in the future, but one can be hopeful. Over here, we have some more of those little insect terrariums with a little bit of mulch added in. Uh, I'm not the small piece master that everyone else seems to be, but who knows, I might include some like little fire ants in there going forward. So yeah, future plans for this house. I want to obviously fix up the floors around here, but I want to have like a little gift shop over here. Over here, I have a little bit of bathroom, which I need to flesh out a bit more. And I have these over here for some more enclosures or exhibits or something. And yeah, that's pretty much the entire Caribbean house. And we have the little Jazzy Franks up here, playing a little, little song, Happy Fat Tuesday, everyone. I know this is coming out on probably Wednesday or Thursday, but the thought matters. So going through here, we have some staff access to the Patagonia and Mara exhibit. Now, these haven't been modded in, or, nor do I think they'll ever include them in the game just because they're so small, but I don't know if you guys have ever seen one. I'll throw one across the screen right now. They are, like, they're a really cute mix between, like, a deer and a bunny, and I think my local zoo, Southwick Zoo, has them, like, right up front, and they're honestly some, like, my favorite creatures ever. So I want to include a little place for them to, you know, prance around about. And, I don't know, I kind of like the setup of this exhibit. It's nice. It's it's kind of small. It could have been a lot smaller for the Maras. I know they don't really require that much space, but I, I'm just, just a good zookeeper in that way. Down here is a nice little place for the kids to get access to. So they can get a little bit more of a closer view up to them. Maybe they'll even pop up around here but yeah that's pretty much that now getting to our first actual animals we have nick's capybaras just chilling out over here uh yeah some like i feel like south america has a lot of my favorite animals and the capybara is definitely no exception to that i just think i mean they're the largest rodent in the world and they look like friggin adorable i mean they're fat they're chubby they're, I don't know, they're funny looking. But yeah, I even still included some of ZZ's over here originally, because this is what I had in here originally. And now, no, ZZ does some amazing work with his animals, and I want to include them. And I have, I had another, and he's up here trying to escape. Uh, and he's a little beat up. Oh no. But yeah, that's pretty much all we have for the South America section. Uh, I want to point out this because I've been doing this throughout pretty much the entire zoo. I've been double walling a lot of the exhibits while I go around. And I have the uh, corrugated metal fences as the exterior barrier and the mesh fences as a primary barrier for all the animals. Not all of them, but yeah. So we're gonna zoom all the way through. 
and we're going to go right over to our bear exhibit. Now, actually, we can go down here to the deer trek and go back down to Grizzly Gorge. I did include some improvements. So now we finally have power under here so we can see the grizzly bear education sign. But also down here, I start to include a little bit more scenery. So I have these little implied mine carts that have, you know, since been out of commission and they're just chilling at the bottom of the lake. And I have one going up towards the entrance over here. And yeah. I just wanted to bring a little bit more theming into this area. I know it's already themed to like oblivion with like this whole building going on over here, but I don't know. I just want to include a little bit more. And actually right now is a good chance to uh, see our bears from down below. I mean, look at them. It'd be really cool if we get these guys to dive soon. Probably, probably in like the next update. Oh no, I, I feel like they'll fully flesh it out, but you know. That's just my wishful thinking. So now, if we go over here, we have a little bit of a shortcut to, uh... No. <laughs> you guys can tell I haven't been in here in quite some time. But yeah, we have the Orient Express, and this is our little funicular. I... I don't know why I wanted to put a funicular in here, but I just... I don't know, there's such like an overlooked use of transportation. And there's so much easier ways to get from point A to point B. For instance, the elevator. But I want to include a little bit different. So here we are. We have these little cable cars going up. And over here we actually have it with a red panda habitat. And I think, yeah, these guys are still red pandas. So, we might even be able to see one of those guys cross over. Let's just zoom forward. Oh yeah, he's coming. He's coming over. He's making his way. Or maybe they aren't. They like almost... Oh, there we go. So this is easily like one of my favorite shots in here. And we can see them like climbing over this funicular. I know it's not really the safest thing to have live animals cross... Where the hell are you going, buddy? Um, I know it's not really the safest way to have, like... I'm not even sure if they're endangered anymore, but have these animals kind of, like, cross over... Live electricity, live wire, moving cars where they could get squished and stuff, but, like... Well, he's boxed up. This is a really, really great tour. Um... Nevertheless, these guys seem to enjoy their habitat. I really love seeing them over here on this. Again, I have a little bit more fencing over here. I trust these guys not to escape. But once we take the funicular up here, we would reach the soon-to-be Asian expansion. And I don't know why this is still here. I wanted to cut the habitat off, like, right there. But, um... Yeah, the red pandas would be the first in this little Asian expansion. And I honestly love how it turned out. Let's get some better lighting in here. But yeah, it's like... This is so beautiful, actually. I'm doing it live, guys. I'm getting the thumbnail. Alright. But yeah, that's pretty much we all we have over around these parts. So we're going to swoop all the way back to the entrance and take our other branching path. Uh, I actually switched out all the flamingos with the uh, Caribbean flamingo just to give it a little bit more color over here. Uh, the James's flamingo, I just felt like didn't fit as well. But these guys are absolute beauties down here. Plus they match pink really well. So we're gonna find our way all the way over here, and we have a two, wow, to be named uh, flower garden or botanical walk, as it may be. And yeah, it's just a nice little relaxing addition. Um, originally, I had all this space, and I remember on Drew's live stream, he was like, "Oh yeah, this this would be a great place for uh, 
a little nature walk and I thought, you know what? I am not too keen on like having heavily forested areas in the middle of my zoo. But I did want to include like a little non-animal sequitur around here. So we have a beautiful display of foliage and whatnot while we're going through here. And yeah, it's just learning how to use the foliage pieces to the best. Um, I think these are even trees right here. So if we, yep, those are the uh, bloodwood trees. I don't really know, whatever. But yeah, we can even see the uh, sight lines starting to come through. I mean, even with the uh, educational building right there, this is really starting to shape up. I think this might be like one of my favorite areas in the park. And we haven't even gotten to the big boy yet. So let's find our way over there. But before we do, um, this is just a little bit more backstage area. Heading to like all the North American animals and whatnot. This would eventually bring you over to the bears. And their little exhibit. Again, I'll flesh everything out when I get to it. I like... I, I don't work on one project as at a time, as you guys can see. But yeah, so we're popping over to our Australia house. Shout out to... Uh, shout out to Ricey for the font, as always. And yeah, we're... This is basically a giant glorified aviary. And yes. So we walk right in. And I had a little bit of trouble with the roof. I, And as you can see, the building really isn't... Eh, it's not finished yet, as with everything in here. But I just want to show you guys I'm not... This isn't a back... Well, it is a back burner project. But it's not one that I'm shelving forever. Uh, but yeah, so right in here, we have a little bit of a entrance area. Not really sure what to put in here. I may put, like, some exhibits, implied exhibits at least, with, like, some reptiles or something. But, yeah, using the most out of the Australian decor as we can. We have a nice little walkway. Sort of an implied carpet going on through here. And we're meted with more birds than I can count. So, I know Drac and Mealy and ZZ contributed, like, a ton to this whole endeavor and I definitely do want to give them a shout out once we uh start dedicating buildings and stuff but oh my god look at the detail on these guys it's insane the level that they're willing to go so let's go to the right first um over here we have New Zealand I I could have easily done a little bit more work on that over here but I don't know I like how the map in New Zealand came out it looks nice um, so we take this little wing over here. We have our little Kiwi friends. And yeah, these little chunkers are just trotting about their own exhibit. I even hid this over here as well. Uh, um, and yeah, I have some larger waterfowl over here. I think these are the Jeraboos, the from Mealy Stork Pack. And yeah, we have a little bit of staff access over here so they could fill up their food and whatnot. Over here we have the cockatoo. I'm not really too familiar with birds all that much, but yeah. I think over here is the cockapoo. Yeah. And these guys, this guy's a little this guy's trying to escape, but I think it's fine. Um but yeah, that's pretty much it for the New Zealand wing. I have this little waterfall over here in honor of the Great Estan. And it goes down here into the little water. So this entire place is suspended over water. And I took inspiration from this little park in France. And I was like, you know what? That's such a great idea. I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm stealing that. So I did all of that. And this whole place is just stilted, it's over the water, it's nice. It'd be humid as all hell in here, but nevertheless. Uh, these are the kookaburras. And they have their own two little islands over here. I really want to, like, have this have, like, a, uh, like, a huge emphasis on islands. So we have, like, the, uh, I think these are rainbow lorries. 
I could be entirely wrong. I guys, I don't even know anymore. The zebra finches over here. And I have a little bit of wood down here. I just want to, you know, have the bigger island be separated a little bit more. We're getting to that soon. Um, so we go around here. And we see the cassowary exhibit. And these guys have a lot of room to themselves. They are even going to have a uh, outdoor area over here. And yeah, it's just a... Uh, Different part of the exhibit, I guess. They're the only living things in here for now. And yeah, they're just having a great little time. I really like how the wood came out on the uh, side of the building over there. And yeah. This whole exhibit was like put into the works. Like shortly after we got the aquatic pack, so... Obviously, I had to sneak a few of my penguin friends in here, and they get more of a, uh, sort of a beachfront kind of vibe. And we can see all of them just swimming about. We can see a bunch of them just waiting for their food. I even included a little poopy. And yeah, this is where they'd uh, enter and exit from uh, their holding from backstage. We can even see this guy had a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a fun night. He's probably just drinking himself out to, uh... Hoping that I put a roof over his building soon enough. But, uh, yeah. A couple of black swans, because I know they're endemic to, uh, Australia. I have a few of the, uh... I forget I do have for this shit. I have a few of the rubber duckies over here. And, yeah. That is pretty much all I have. I consulted Zekin on the roof of this, and I, I feel like I'm doing him a disservice because this looks like utter ass. But, like, uh, I'm getting there soon enough. But, yeah. I'm really sorry I haven't been including so many updates for you guys. I know, like, this project really isn't, like, the most popular, but I still love it nonetheless. And this is a really great view over here as well. I'm just looking for good sight lines now. But, yeah, I really appreciate you guys checking this out. I really appreciate you guys supporting this series. I know it's, I don't know, it's a bit of a struggle for me to make more inside this zoo. I mean, once you hit a certain point, these beavers are <laughs> escaping. Um, Once you hit a certain point, you kind of just stop dead in your tracks and you're like, well, like, what now? Even, like, right over here, I don't know, like, how to make a kangaroo exhibit over here. Or even finish up the cassowaries. I don't really know, like, koalas. I, even, like, over here, you saw I, like, stopped dead, like, right over there once I started the red pandas who are actually making their way across right now. But, yeah. I have a little bit of a gear using the, uh, I know these guys finally have a use, but, um, yeah, once we, uh, hit a certain point, I'm not really sure on where to go, but, I don't know, I really like what's come out of this so far. If you guys have any ideas whatsoever, feel free to throw them out, but, I don't know, I think I'm gonna let you guys go. I just wanted to make sure that you guys saw what's been happening in here. I know I post, like, I used to post this every single day back in Drew's and Bro Nation's discords, but like, I don't know, I, I just hit a wall with this, but um, soon enough I'm sure we'll find our way back into, back into the groove of things, but yeah. I'll see you guys later, thank you guys so much for checking this out, I know it's a bit of a boring video, but, you know. I, <laughs> I don't have much. Uh, yeah, take care, guys. If you liked it, remember to like, comment, maybe even subscribe if you can. We just passed 100 subscribers, and I could not be any more happy. I really do appreciate you all. You all are just a tremendous support to me. Uh, I know I don't really have the best content, but I'm sure all you guys like it nonetheless. But yeah, this has been Blackstone Zoo. I appreciate all you guys, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Have a great one.